During the last two years, when the pandemic was on, we saw that how India's medical services are insufficient to take care of our population. And what is going to happen in future is the India's population is also aging, like the world population is aging, and our requirement for such medical and critical care will increase. Not only the requirement of India is increasing, the world requirement of such technically qualified and skilled personnel is also increasing because the world population is also aging and the only country which can provide such technically skilled young people is India. I lead considering the requirement of the market is introducing this year four medical related courses namely BBA in hospital management, optometry, medical lab technician, medical instrumentation and critical care technology. And therefore, there is a going to be a huge demand and considering this demand, we had introduced these courses and we have established a very, very well equipped labs and we have hired some of the best trainers who are proficient and who are already working in the industry to train the people who will try to will join this course. Hospital industry itself alone accounts to 80% of the total healthcare market in India. In fact, it's witnessing a huge investor demand, both from global investors as well as domestic investors. And when you speak about the growth, it's growing uh, around say one, it's expected to grow around say $132 billion in 2023 from $61.8 billion in 2017, which means it's growing at an impressive CAGR of 16 to 17%, which is a very remarkable growth in this sector. Apart from doctors and paramedical staffs, hospitals require prof healthcare professionals who can actually handle the administrative and managerial needs of the hospital. They work globally and they work in collaboration with the doctors and paramedic staffs towards the proper functioning of the hospitals in terms of well organizing as well as profitability of the hospitals. Everybody won't be a doctor, everybody won't be a nurse, everybody won't be a, a technician. But a symphony can be reached, a synergy can be reached only with the culmination of a good doctor, a good nurse, a good technician along with the administrative and the operational side. This administrative and operational side will be provided through the students who are coming out of these hospital management courses. After pursuing this three years BB in hospital management, the students can get options job options in hospitals in any departments like the OPD that is outpatient department, inpatient department, they could get jobs in the front office, in the medical record departments, even to the extent of billing and insurance that is TPA. And the level at which they can join the hospitals could be at entry level of executive positions to senior executive, to managers, to senior managers, deputy general managers, to managers and to general managers to the extent of Chief Operating Officer and Chief Executive Officer. This is the growth ladder and after doing this course for the people who are looking for the job. For the students who are interested to do a higher studies, they can also go for Masters in Hospital Administration as well. My advice to you is the right place to start off your career in hospital management could be Eileen. The answer to it would be the fantastic infrastructure, the well-led academicians, the overall ambience, the total opening to the industry that will be provided by the institute to you. It is run by the PS group, the renowned group. So if you want to reach that right position, it is the right thing to join the course at ILEAD run by the PS group because it has got a very good integrity with the industry. The exposure would be immense, which is very important for any technical course.